What I would like my people to know about my culture, it is vibrant and alive and enduring. This is the voice of a Southwestern Native American whose ancestors go as far back as 12,000 years. Peoples of the Southwest trace their origins to the Earth Mother, Pueblos, Navajos, Apaches, Utes, Paiutes, Oadam, and other native peoples of the region are inextricably linked to the land in which they live. Living by ancient philosophies, the enduring peoples of the Southwest keep their core values sacred while adapting to and fitting into an ever-changing world. There's a lot of our, uh, our stories and our religious beliefs that are instilled within us from day one uh, that we continue uh, to perpetuate throughout, uh, um, throughout uh, our generations, throughout our families. And uh, myself personally, uh, I felt privileged enough to be uh, essentially raised by my, my grandparents because my parents uh, uh, both worked. And so I feel fortunate enough to have learned my language and a lot of my traditions from my grandparents and taught to value and cherish those traditions that make us who we are. For centuries, their diverse history has helped shape the culture in this region of the country. Most of this has been demonstrated through their art, through the creation of pottery, weavings, jewelry, and paintings. The indigenous people of the Southwest have developed unique traditions that have characterized each tribal community. I try and uh, keep old traditional things within of the scope of what I'm doing. Uh, I realize jewelry has gone quite a ways in different directions, as it should since now it's considered an art form. But my way of doing things is I'm still a traditional type of jeweler. And uh, when I make things, I try using the old concepts. I'm using the old thought of mine when I make something, because my stamp work it's got to kind of like, kind of be one. It's, it's, a, it's a whole complete balance, like a circle, I guess basically is what it is. The spiritual essence of the pot needs to remain because the pot holds so much meaning, spiritually speaking, that if we are going to survive as native peoples, we need to continue to make the traditional pot because it's part of the ceremonial, traditional essence of who we are. Through art, their ancient culture endures in modern society, and their stories are told in places like the Museum of Indian Arts and Culture. Here, every exhibit has been carefully crafted with the help of Native consultants. They give us, on the one hand, the knowledge about what these items are and how they fit into their cultural universe. On the other hand, they are also professionals and they provide us with material that is well curated and is available to us to use for research or for interpretation. The Native Americans of the Southwest play a central role in the museum's educational programs and are also employed as curators, educators, and archivists. The museum utilizes a number of native and non-native consultants and researchers, as well as tribal representatives who serve on an Indian advisory panel to tell their history. We have this sharing and the involvement of the native curators, the native consultants to the museum give it an authenticity in terms of their perspective of history that may not be recorded any place and that comes out through the museum and its exhibits. Native American cultures in the Southwest are vast, complex, and beautiful. With each generation comes the responsibility to share the traditions with those who will follow. It is a cycle that continues. I am here. I am here now. I have been here always. Located in Santa Fe, New Mexico, the Museum of Indian Arts and Culture celebrates and honors the diversity of the Native American peoples of the Southwest. The museum's core exhibit, Here, Now, and Always, tells the story of the Southwest's oldest communities as you are guided through the eight galleries of its impressive collection.
Immerse yourself in Indian art and culture by taking advantage of the museum's many tours and education programs. The exquisitely crafted exhibits will take you back in time and show you how these age-old customs thrive today. All the work that's being done here at the Museum of Indian Art and Culture is important to future generations of Pueblo children, Pueblo people, because of the fact that we get to assist the museum professionals in their interpretation of our history, of our culture. In the end, in the whole spirit realm, we are one people. And I think that's what the museum exhibits, that when they show this, and even the collections that are on display today, you have both Santa Domingo and Cochiti Pueblo's pottery on display. It also shows that connection again of how our elders tell us, we cannot begin to live and to work alone we must always work together as a people. Rich in artifacts from all Southwestern tribes, the Museum of Indian Arts and Culture is a must see for everyone who wants to deepen their understanding of this ancient and beautiful history. To learn more about the museum, log on to indianartsandculture.org or call the number on your screen.